Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Jessica? How are you? Fine. Okay. Very good. That is great. Uh, there's Jessica today and Diego Anthony. Hello, Diego. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Doing good. Thank you. A little tired. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like everybody. Okay. We have to start. Um, let me uh, share the screen with you now. There it is. Can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, that is great. Okay, well, let's begin. Um, everybody, well, my two students right now. <laughs> Welcome, this is Ingres Intermedio, Modulo 3. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. This is Intermedio 3. And today we're going to have session number 10 and it's September 21st, okay? 2022 or 2022 if you prefer welcome back here's what we're going to do um we have like a couple lesson objectives today the first one right you will listen practice and learn about body language using models and adverbs the thing about body language is the vocabulary we studied yesterday okay so today we are going to focus on the grammar related to the models and adverbs, okay? First, we're going to have a review of the content, the last part of the content from yesterday. And that's what we're going to do now. So, may and might. Este es un repaso, okay? So, let's see, Jessica and Diego, ¿se acuerdan para qué dijimos que era may and might? Posibilidad. Mm -hmm. Very good. Jessica's right. We use may and might when we talk about something that is possible. Okay. But we are not sure. It's only a possibility. Me, uh, Ciro just joined the class. Hello, Ciro. Hello, teacher. How are you? Doing good. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Mr. Perla just joined the class. Hello, Mr. Perla, welcome. Okay, take a look. So we use may and might to talk about possibility, just like Jessica said. And you have the three people talking. He says, where is Ben? He says, he may be in his office. Okay, that means it is possible that Ben is in his office. This other man says, ask Kate, she might know. That means there is a possibility that Kate knows where Ben is, okay? We have Sulma, welcome. Who else is here? Rodrigo Daniel, Nady, welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay, so again, we use may or might to say that something is possible, okay? Just remember, when we use may and might, we are not sure. We are only speculating, okay? We're guessing because we really don't know, all right? It's only a possibility. Let's take a look. May and might, we use may and might to say that something is possible. You say, for example, it may be true or it might be true. She might know or she may know. Both options are okay. You can use either. It may be true is similar to it might be true. Both express that something is possible. She might know is similar to she may know. Both sentences express that it is possible that she knows. Okay. Now, what about this? The negative forms are may not and might not. And yesterday, if you remember, uh, I mentioned two rules for model auxiliaries. May and might are model auxiliaries. ¿Qué otros model auxiliaries hay? Si se acuerdan, yo les puse una listita. 
¿Quién se acuerda? Uh -huh. How should... should is one, another one. Uh -huh. We have made, might, should, what else? What other models are there? Will. Will, okay, will is another one. Any other models? Could, okay, would, correct. All those are model auxiliaries. Okay, very good. And yesterday we mentioned that models basically follow two rules. What are the rules? Do you remember? ¿Cuáles eran las reglas de los model auxiliaries que mencioné el día de ayer? After the model teacher is the verb uh, base form. Correct. Okay. After a model, you have to use a verb in base form. So what does that mean? I'm going to show you here very quickly. That means that the only form that is acceptable after a model auxiliary is the base form. The past form? No. The past participle? No. The ing form? No. The third person singular form for present simple? No, absolutely not. So there's only one form and that is the base form. In other words, and I'm going to show this to you using a Word document. If you give me a second. I'm going to show this to you. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And uh, going to go bigger with the funds. Okay, you say, for example, it might rain. We're talking about possibility right here. It might rain. This is correct, okay? So we're going to give it a different color right here. Green, this is good. But what happens if you say, for example, it might rains. This will be incorrect. All right. Why is it incorrect? Because we are not using the base form of the verb. Now, what happens if you say, for example, it might raining. That will also be incorrect. If you use it in past, it might rained. That's also incorrect. So be careful right here. We're going to change the color. This is correct. After a model auxiliary, you have to use the main verb in base form. That's the only way. Third person singular? No. ING form? Mm -mm. Past form? No. Past participle? No. Absolutely not. To infinitive also is not correct. You say it might to rain. Okay, this is incorrect. All of these sentences are incorrect. This is the only good form. All right, so uh, that was rule number one. What is the other rule? Let's see if you remember. Mm hmm. What is the second rule? Dijimos que solamente puede ir un verbo en forma base después del modal auxiliary. Esa es una de las reglas que mencionamos ayer. ¿Cuál es la otra? A ver si se acuerdan. Dice que es el uso del may. Dice que may be is he yes oh. sorry sorry um, uh, sorry is um uh, use uh, my mm -hmm. example uh, he might uh, be um, is um uh, her, her office like uh, he might be in his office. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's an example. Okay, all right. Yeah, that is true. 
Mr. Perla. Okay. Um, the second rule is modal yeah. auxiliaries like might don't have a special form mm. for he, she, or it. That's the other rule. Okay. So what does that mean? You say, for example, I'm going to change color. I'm going to do it like this, blue in color. You say, for example, I may go to the party. Okay, here's the model auxiliary. What happens if I say, you may go to the party? We may go to the party, etc. You have the model right here. But then what happens when the subject is he, she, or it? Nothing happens. It doesn't change. You say, he may go to the party. Okay? So you have to be careful. No van a cometer el error de decir, ah, como es he, le voy a poner una S a este. No, that's incorrect. Lo mismo pasa acá. Dicen, ah, pero como es he, le voy a poner goes. No. Okay? La regla se mantiene. Model auxiliaries don't have a special form for he, she, and it. Okay, that's the other rule. Always remember that. Okay, let's continue. So um, what is the structure? Again, you say I, you, he, she, it, we, or they, and then you use may or might. If the sentence is negative, then you need to add not, may not, or my not. And after that, the verb in base form, like the base form of the verb be is be. For example, you may be, sorry, say it may be true. Okay. He may be in his office, etc. You say she might know. He might work. You may want, etc. That's how we use it. And yesterday we did an exercise, okay? Very simple exercise. Um, always remember you can watch the video, okay, uh, from yesterday. Let's continue. So this is a review. That was the review from yesterday. Right now we're going to go into the new uh, information. Let's continue. Now with may and might. We use may or might to talk about possible event or possible actions, I'm sorry, or events in the future. Okay, you can use it for the future when the future event is possible. Again, you are not sure. It's only a possibility. All right. So you have this sentence. I haven't decided where to go on vacation. I may go to Ireland. That means perhaps, tal vez, perhaps I will go there. So you're using may to talk about the future. But in this case, again, it's only a possible future. It's not a definite future. It's only possible. I may go to Ireland, right? That means maybe, maybe, perhaps I will go there, but I'm not sure. Second example, take an umbrella with you. It might rain later, okay? That means perhaps it will rain later. It's possible but we don't know. Por si acaso, ya es el paraguas, porque puede que llueva. The bus isn't always on time. We might have to wait a few minutes. That means perhaps we will have to wait. Like in El Salvador, right? You have to wait for the bus all the time. So again, the bus isn't always on time. We might have to wait a few minutes. Puede que tengamos que esperar algunos minutos. Okay? That means perhaps we will have to wait. Again, the negative forms are may not and might not. And you have two examples. Who can help me read the first one? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el primer ejemplo? Mm -hmm. Ciro. Okay. Amy may not go out tonight. She isn't feeling well. 
Thank you, Ciro. Amy may not go out tonight. She isn't feeling well. No se siente bien, así que es posible que no salga. Amy may not go out tonight. She isn't feeling well. Pero, quién sabe, a lo mejor dice de pronto, no, ya me siento mejor, y sale. Yeah. It's possible. The second example, volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? Vamos, participemos. Así practicamos nuestra pronunciación también. Sin miedo. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el segundo ejemplo? Nady. Thank you. Um, there may not be an outside discuss everything at the meeting. Okay. There might not be enough time to discuss everything at the meeting. Thank you, Nady. So there might not be enough time to discuss everything at the meeting. We have a meeting and we need to discuss a lot of things, but we only have one hour. So mm, it is possible that we will not have enough time to discuss everything. So we say there might not be enough time to discuss everything at the meeting. Now, I want you to take a good look at this. Compare. Look, when you say, I am going to buy a car, that's for sure. Está seguro, esa es su intención, eso es lo que va a hacer. But if you say, I may buy a car, or I might buy a car, it's only possible. Si usted le preguntan, bueno, ¿y qué planes tenés para el otro año? Y usted le dice, I'm going to buy a car. ¿Eh? A lo mejor hasta ya ahorró el dinero y todo, o ya le falta poquito. O ya tiene el plan bien armado para conseguir su vehículo. Pero si usted dice, I may buy a car, it's only a possibility. Maybe, maybe not. Or I might buy a car, it's only possible. So be careful right there. Before we continue, do you have any questions? No. No, no questions about the topic. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's continue. Now, usually you can use may or might. So you can say, I might go to Ireland or I may go to Ireland. Another example, Jane might be able to help you or Jane may be able to help you. They are basically interchangeable. Básicamente son intercambiables, aunque si ustedes recuerdan, ayer les explicaba también que en opinión de algunos, might es un poco más remoto en posibilidad. O sea, la posibilidad es un poquito más baja que may, pero casi que es lo mismo. Sin embargo, hay que tener esto en cuenta. But we use might and not may when the situation is not real, ¿ok? If the situation is not real, then you have to use might. Example, if they paid me better, I might work harder. Si me pagaran mejor o me pagaran más, podría trabajar más duro. Esta es una situación hipotética, ¿verdad? No es una situación real. Aquí se está imaginando. Si me pagaran mejor, dice esta persona, le echaría más ganas, ¿ok? I might work harder. When that is the case and the situation is not real, then you use might, but not may, okay? You can use may when the situation is real, when the situation is possible. Like in this case, I may go to Ireland. Puede que vaya a Irlanda, es posible, uh, no he decidido. Pero en este otro caso, es una situación imaginaria, es hipotética nada más. En esos casos, solo se admite might in no may. All right? You have the explanation right here. This situation, if they paid me better, is not real. Okay? They do not pay me well, so I am not going to work harder. All right? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. That is great. Okay, so um, we're going to do the first exercise in the breakout rooms now. Take a look. 
your turn. Choose the correct alternative to complete the sentences. I'm going to create the breakout rooms now. We have 13 people, so that means we can work in pairs. Take a look. Okay, I'm going to create six groups. Room one, Maritza and Rodrigo Daniel. Room two, Jessica Rosales and Nady Ives. Room three, Maria Ayala Rivas and Marvin Joseph Salazar. Room four, Josue Rivas and Rebecca Estefania. Room five, Diego Antonio and Zulma Beatriz. And room six, you have Ciro Mira and Mr. Erasmo Perla. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Everybody, please join them. Here we go. Okay, everybody, if you check the WhatsApp conversation, you will find the exercise there. Okay, I just shared it with you. And I'm going to ent enter the rooms now. In la primera, where are you going for your vacation? I have not visited yet. Um, I am going to Ireland. Ireland. No, sé si está... mm, no creería Ireland. que no. Eh, ahí dice que no ha decidido aún. Y si dice I'm going to Ireland, sería como que está afirmando que va a ir a Irlanda cuando aún no ha decidido. Entonces ahí sería I might. I'm, might go to Ireland. 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 Mm -hmm. Ireland. Ireland. So yeah. where are you going for your vacation? And the other person says, I haven't decided yet. I might go to Ireland or I'm going to Ireland. Okay, Rodrigo Daniel is right. He said, I haven't decided yet. So this person is not sure. The correct form is, I might go to Ireland. Okay. Mm. All Thank right. You, You're welcome. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. Mm, you, Thank teacher. you. Uh, I am not sure. Seria, he might come. Um, he might come. He might come. Sorry. Lab four. Where are you going to put that picture? Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know. Sure. I'm going to have in the bedroom. Okay, but if you look, he said, I don't know yet. Todavía no sé. I might hand. I might hand. I might hand because I might it's hand. only possible. Mm -hmm. I might hang it in the bedroom. Okay. All right, I'm going to go to a different room now. See you later. Yeah. 
De ahí vamos a ver la cuatro. Where are you going to put that picture? A ver, where, ¿dónde está la gente? Hay otra vez. A colocar las, las, las pinturas. I don't know, Jeff. Sí, como está en negativo. No teacher, teacher una, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, como usted dijo que el MAI lo utilizamos en, en situaciones hipotéticas y el GOI en algo real que va a suceder. Pues más bien en este caso no sería hipotético porque le pregunta where are you going to put that pictures dónde vas a poner esa esa foto o ese cuadro entonces se le dice I don't know yet no es hipotético porque en algún lugar lo va a poner ah ok ajá aunque, aunque no esté seguro igual que aunque el anterior, no esté ¿sí? seguro ajá cabal I'm, I'm sure. cuál sería ah. entonces Sí, en este caso no es hipotético, sería I'm going to hang. I'm going to hang. Pero si dice I'm going to hang, suena como que ya está seguro o segura dónde lo va a poner. Y si se fija, en la misma línea también dice I don't know yet. O sea, todavía uh -huh. no sé. Ah, sí, eso es lo que estamos sé. consultando. Uh -huh. Y cuando no está seguro, entonces es algo hipotético. Podemos ocupar el might. Mm, es que no funciona así en realidad, sino que might... Eso era más bien cuando tenían la opción entre may y might. Hay algunas cosas que son hipotéticas y otras que sí son posibles. Por ejemplo, en el ejemplo, bueno, lo que estábamos viendo hace un momento, el ejemplo decía, uh, ¿cuál era el ejemplo? Ya se me olvidó, quiero ver, aquí lo tengo. Si le pagaran más, si le pagaran más, ¿verdad? Si, si me pagaran mejor, podría echarle más ganas. En ese caso sí es hipotético porque significa que en realidad no le pagan muy bien. O sea, si le pagaran mejor, ¿verdad? O sea, imaginándonos que fuera así, entonces sí podría eh, echarle más ganas. I might work harder. Pero eso es cuando tenemos que decidir entre may y might, nada más. En este caso no estamos decidiendo entre may y might, sino que eh, tenemos una situación que sí es posible, pero la persona no está segura. No es hipotética, más bien es una situación real, pero aún no se ha decidido la persona. Entonces oh, dice, okay. where are you going to put that picture? Es real, porque en algún lugar la va a colgar. Entonces dice, I don't know yet. Todavía no sé. Ajá. Entonces, I might hang it in the bedroom. Se puede que lo ponga uh -huh. en, el, en el cuarto, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. si de pronto me dan ganas, lo pongo en la cocina. No está okay. seguro. No está seguro. Ajá. Sí. Pero, pero sí lo va a hacer. Pero sí lo va a hacer. Ajá. No es una situación hipotética. Es real. Okay. Gracias. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok. I'm going to go into a different room. See you later. <laughs> Gracias. Hello, have you finished? Uh, or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Are you in number four, number five? Number four. Number four. Okay. Where are you going to put that picture? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, uh, I might hand in the bedroom i might hang it in the bedroom okay that is correct he says i might hang it in the bedroom because he doesn't know yet he hasn't decided so that's right i might hang it in the bedroom that's the correct form okay i'm going to go into a different room now see you later uh, do you have to decide that kind of car you want to buy? 
eh, aquí teníamos eh, esa duda, o sea, porque dice, si tú decidiste este tipo de vehículo vas a comprar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes, I might get. Uh -huh. como, podría ser un carro sport o I am going to get a sport car, o sea, que él sí uh -huh. va a comprar un carro sport. Ajá. Pero en, este, en, el, en el caso de esta, nosotros escogimos, yes, I might get. Uh -huh. pero, pero veamos la pregunta que le hacen primero. Dice, have you decided what kind of car you want to buy? Have you made a decision? And the person says, yes. Ah, ok. And ah, oh, says, oh, ok, entonces sería, yes, I'm going to get a sport car. Uh -huh, porque okay. ya lo decidió. No está como ya pensando, quizás me compro el deportivo, si no me voy a comprar el otro. No, ya decidió que se va a comprar el deportivo. Ah, entonces... No, no como la 4 que está ahí. Ah, que okay. no sabe. Que no lo sabe. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. ok. Mm -hmm. Ya, ya lo entendí. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok, see you later. Hello. Have you finished? Hello, good evening. Uh, yes. Okay, yes, can you read number five for me? Hi, Julia. Uh, yeah. Say what's Amanda going to do when she leaves school? Does she know yet? You say yes, she has decided. Uh, como ya está decidida, sería she's going to university. Correct. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Okay, I'm going to jump into a different room now. See you in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Hello, gentlemen. Okay, hello, teacher. Have you finished the exercise? Yes. Okay. Can you read number six for me, please? Number six? Mm -hmm. The last one. Let me, let me, let me check. Okay. okay. The, la the last one? Mm -hmm. What's Amanda going to do when she leaves school? Yes, she has decided She's going to university. She's going to university. That She's is correct. Yes. Okay. Aunque esa era la cinco, no la seis, pero está bien. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. Good. Okay. No. But all is good, teacher. That is good. Okay. Yeah. We're going to uh, close the break of rooms now. So I'll see you in one minute. Yeah. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Forty seconds. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Number one, um, I need a volunteer to read this because these are conversations. I'm going to read the first part and you read the second part. Ciro, where are you going for your vacation? I haven't decided yet. I might go 
to Ireland. I might go to Ireland. That is correct. Okay, I might go to Ireland. Why? Because he said, I haven't decided yet. That means it's only possible, but he yeah. is not sure. Thank you, Ciro. Number two, I need a volunteer, please. Who wants to try? Jessica, have you decided what kind of car you want to buy? Yes, I'm going to get a sport car. Correct. Yes, I am going to get a sports car. Very good. In this case, Jessica said, I am going to get because she is sure about this. This is not a possibility. She is sure. Have you decided? She said, yes. Very good. Thank you, Jessica. Number three, volunteer, please. Sulma, when is okay. Tom coming to see us? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, he might come on Sunday. Correct. Very good. I am not sure. He might come on Sunday. So Sulma said he might come because previously she said, I'm not sure. So it's only possible. Very good. Thank you. How about number four? Volunteer, please raise your hand. Josue, where are you going to put that picture? I don't know yet. I might hang in the bedroom. I might hang it in the bedroom. Correct. Again, it's only a possibility. He says, I might hang it. Because before that, he said, I don't know yet. Todavía no sé. So it's possible. Number five, a volunteer, please. Rebecca, what's Amanda going to do when she leaves school? Does she know yet? Yes, yeah, she has a sign. She's going to the university. Correct. Very good. She has decided. That means she is sure. So she's going to university. Very good. Thank you, Rebecca. And number six, volunteer, please. A volunteer. Me he dado cuenta de un patrón con estos ejercicios. Siempre que se trata de la última, cuesta más que se anime a participar. Okay, Marvin. Number six, do you have plans for the weekend? Nothing fixed. I might go away. Nothing fixed. I might go away. Correct, Marvin. Very good. Cuando dice nothing fixed, nada arreglado, nada decidido, ¿verdad? Nothing fixed. I might go away. Maybe. Very good, everybody. Congratulations on completing this exercise. Very good. Okay. Let's continue now. We have another exercise right here. Your turn. Complete the sentences using might, only might, plus a verb from the box. Okay, I'm going to um, break the, or yeah, I'm going to cancel the breakout rooms and I'm going to create new ones, but this time with uh, three people in each. Okay, here we go. For the first room, we have Josue Rivas, Maria Ayala Rivas, and Rebecca Estefania. Room two, Marvin Joseph, Nady Ibis, and Mr. Perla. Uh, room three, Diego Anthony, Jessica Rosales, and Rodrigo Daniel. Room four, Ciro Mira, Maritza Guadalupe, and Zulma Beatriz. I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Let's do this. Now, what about the exercise? Again, you need to complete the sentences. You have to use might, only might, and one of the verbs in the box, okay? Very easy exercise. Let's do it. I'm going to open the breakout rooms now. Please, everybody, join your group.
I just sent you the exercise via WhatsApp, okay? Please check the chat. I'm going to start joining the breakout rooms. Hola. Hello. Hola. Sí, se escucha. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, probando. Okay. <laughs> Microphone check. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ah, como que no estoy aquí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the number one, compañeros. I think it's fine. Okay. I don't know. It's right. Take an umbrella with you when you go, go out. It... Hey. Might, might rain. To rain. It might rain later. That is correct. Okay, good. Now, please continue. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. Ah, que no hagan tenso de ruido. You might. Um, sería might. Que el bebé podría oír algo así. Hurt. Hurt. Hurt sería. You might hurt. No. Entiendo que como que está dormido el niño. Entonces. Sí, ah, despertarse sería la última opción. Wake. 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 Uh -huh. wake. Make too much wake. noise. You might. Eso sería. You might wake. You might wake the baby. You may wake. Okay. You may wake. That is correct. You yeah. might wake the baby. You may wake. Okay. 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 Perla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to go into a different room now. See you later. See you later. See you later. Here. Here. The carnival is for some parts. It's easy to do. May, what is it? Meet. Sleep is the only thing that keeps them. Uh huh. Sleep. Pero veamos el significado de todas las palabras. Sí, esa es, de hecho. Be careful, this footpath is icy. Esta vereda está congelada. Uh -huh. O está cubierta de hielo, en este caso. It's icy. Uh -huh. Podrías deslizarte. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, you might slip. You might slip. Might, might slip. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. Very good. Okay, I'm going to join the final breakout rooms. See you uh, later. Okay. Solo lo voy a escribir. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Have you finished the exercise? That's right. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, very good. Can you read number four for me? Do not for her your phone, you walk it. Mm, well, remember the exercise is about using might and one of these verbs. Hay que ocupar might primero, verdad? Don't forget your phone. You might walk. Mm -hmm. You might it, wake it, mm, but the verb is not it. correct. You need a different verb. Mm -hmm. Mike. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a ver los compañeros que dicen. C 
Ciro and Zulma. Let me check, let me check. This. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. Don't forget your phone. You might wake it. Wake, wake it. You might wake it. Mm, yeah. Not, not the correct verb. You need a different verb. Wake means despertar. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might need, need, need it, need it. That is correct. Okay. Don't forget your phone. You might need it. Mm -hmm. Podrías necesitarlo. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Okay. I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in Thank one you minute. Too. You're welcome. I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Sixty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay, number one, I need a volunteer, please. Ciro. Okay, take an umbrella with you when you go out. Is my rate right later. It might rain later. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Ciro. Volunteer right. for number two, please. Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Number two. Nady, please. Um, don't, don't make too much noise. To, to might wake the baby. You might wake the baby. Correct. Very good. Don't make too much noise. You might wake the baby. Very good. Thank you, Nady. That is great. Number three, a volunteer, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Josue. Number three, uh, be careful with your coffee. You might sp spill it. Be careful with your coffee. You might spill it. Correct. Very good. Very nice. You might spill it. Thank you, Josue. Number four, volunteer, please. Maria Yala. Maria Yala. Your microphone. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, don't forget your phone. You might need it. You might need it. Correct. You Very might good. need it. Gracias. Okay, thank you. you. Might need. Don't forget your phone. You might need it. That okay. is correct. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Number five, I need a volunteer. Please raise your hand. Uh, Rebecca, please. It's better if we, if we don't talk so loudly. Somebody might hear us. Somebody might hear us. That's correct. Very good. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you very much. And uh, number six. 
volunteer for this one, please. Maritza. The curry food did for pal is eating I see. you I see you meet it sleep. You might slip. Slip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Always remember the pronunciation is might. So you might slip. Might. Mm -hmm. might. Very good. You might slip. That is correct. Great, everybody. Great effort. There is, uh, I believe this is going to be the final exercise today. So your turn. Complete the sentences using might plus a verb from the box. Well, it's not the box. We don't have a box here. Siempre se me va algo mal con instrucción. A verb from the sentence. Tendría que ser aquí. Vamos a corregirlo. Ok, vamos a ocupar un, vamos a ver un ejemplo. El primero va a ser el ejemplo. Lisa is not feeling very well. Ok, I am not sure that she will go to the party. No sé, no estoy seguro si va a ir a la fiesta. No se siente bien. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a poner acá? Lisa might not go to the party. Ok, you have to use the negative form every time. Ok, negative form. Voy a poner acá para que estar bien seguros. Might not. No me voy a poner en rojo todavía. Ahí está. Muy, muy claro. Muy oscurito. Ok, complete the sentences using might not plus a verb from the sentence. Lisa is not feeling very well. I am not sure that she will go to the party. Entonces, Lisa might not go to the party. Puede que no vaya a la fiesta. Uh, you're going to go into the breakout rooms one more time, the same groups. Serían los mismos grupos. Okay. And I want you to complete number two, number three, number four, and number five. Este ejercicio es un poquito más difícil porque no tenemos la lista de verbos, ¿verdad? En, una, en un cuadro, sino que tenemos que sacarlo de la misma oración. Así que aquí vamos. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms. Everybody, if you check WhatsApp, the WhatsApp conversation, the exercise is there, okay? I'm going to start joining the breakout rooms now. I have seen him for a long time. Uh -huh. I don't know, this I will. I haven't seen him for a long, a long, a long time. Or not. Está mal costoso esta. I don't know if I will recognize him. I no, no. It's a challenge. Es un reto. <laughs> <laughs> sí, es más difícil, pero entre los tres lo podemos, bueno, entre los tres del grupo lo pueden lograr. I, I, I might I might recognize it, recognize it. Ah, yeah. pero está diciendo que no lo ha visto en mucho tiempo y que no sabe si lo va a reconocer. Entonces sería I might not. Sí. Ajá, I might not. I, I might not. not. Uh, I might not. 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 Recognize. 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 Mm -hmm. I might not recognize him. Puede que no lo reconozca. No lo he visto en mucho tiempo. Correct. I might not recognize him. Okay, good. You see? You can do this. Very good. Thank you, um, Thank you teacher. You're welcome. I'm going into a different room now. So 
That is possible. I want have time. Digo que podría hacerlo con él. O ir de shopping. Yo digo, yo podría. Hacer las compras de él, creo yo que dice. Um, perdonen, aquí se ha ido un pequeño error de dedo. Sería la número oh. cuatro. I said I would do the shopping. Ahí dice he. O sea, le faltó la T. Lo siento. Sería the shopping. The shopping. Uh -huh. The shopping. Ahí dice he, ¿verdad? Pero le falta la T antes para que quede the shopping. The shopping. Ah, ok. okay. Ajá, sí, okay. lo siento. Mi, mi culpa. Sería, yo digo, sería ir a hacer las compras. No es posible. I won't have time. No tengo tiempo. Ajá. Entonces sería, I might not to do the shopping. No. Falta un poquito ahí. Not. I might do the shopping. No go to what to do. No go to. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I, I might not do the shop. Take a look. Ahí dice, it's possible I won't have time. Have time. Entonces es, I might not. I might not. Mm -hmm. I might not have time. Uh -huh. That's right. I might not have time to do the shopping. Es posible que no tenga tiempo, ¿verdad? Para ir de compras. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, go into a different room now. Antes de continuar con el ejercicio, en la número 4 hay un error de, de dedo, ¿verdad? De dedo quiere decir que es mi error. Dice, I said I will do, tendría que decir the shopping. Le falta una T, ¿verdad? Porque no, dice he shopping, ¿verdad? Pero faltó la T ahí. Entonces, eh, les aclaro para que no se vayan a confundir en esa parte, ¿de acuerdo? También ya les mandé eh, eso corregido por medio de WhatsApp. Okay. Have you finished? Hello? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about number five? I have an invitation to the wedding, but I'm not sure that I will be able to go. ¿Cómo les quedaría esa? Uh, I, I, I may not be able, able to go. No sé si así se pronuncia. Able to go? Uh -huh. I might not be able to go. Ok, hasta ahí todo bien, pero ¿ir a dónde? <laughs> um, the wedding to the wedding okay i might not be able to go to the wedding okay good yeah. i'm going to go into the last breakout room and then we're going to check exercises i might i may not i might not go go mm -hmm. To the wedding, wedding. I might not go. Mm -hmm. No, simplemente solo. Really? No, no, no va a poder ir. Pues. I might not to. I might not 
go to the wedding. I might not go to the wedding. También the wedding. puede quedar, I might not be able to go to the wedding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Puede que no, es posible que no pueda ir, ¿verdad? O probablemente no pueda ir. I might not be able to go to the wedding. Okay. I'm going to break the, I'm going to um, finish the breakout room. break rooms. Okay. We're going to go into the main room, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Okay, everybody. Um, time to check the exercise and finish the class. Forty five seconds. Fifteen seconds. Sorry. Number two, I need a volunteer. I haven't seen him in a long time. I don't know if I will recognize him or not. Volunteer, please. Okay, Maritza and Ciro for number three. Okay, Maritza, number two. I may not see him. I might not see him. Mm, it's it's different actually but um, thank you for participating Ciro, number two okay uh, I haven't seen him for a long time I don't know but the, uh, the answer I might I might know no will re re, re Recognize him. Solo que se le fue una palabra de más. Se le fue will, que es otro modo. Okay. Sería nada Could más. Able, uh, I might not recognize him. Mm -hmm. I might not okay. recognize him. Posiblemente no lo reconozca. Okay. Number three. Thank you, Ciro. Volunteer, okay. please. Vamos, que ya son las nueve. Pero revisemos el, el ejercicio. Jessica, we want to go to the game, but I don't know if we will be able to get tickets. So. With my non before the game. Before the game. Mm, it's a little different. Who has a different version for this? ¿Quién tiene una alternativa? Josué. We might not get tickets for the game. We might not get tickets for the game. O puede ser también. Eh, vamos a poner aquí en paréntesis. Bien. Uy. Puede ser también. We might not be able to get tickets. Uy. Sorry. We see. We might not be able to get tickets for the game. Oh, simplemente, we might not get tickets for the game. Okay, very good. What about number four? Volunteers, please. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, I said I will do the shopping, but it's possible I won't have time. I might not have time to do the shopping. Correct. I might not have time to do the shopping. Very good. And number five, I have an invitation to the wedding, but I'm not sure that I will be able to go. Sulma. 
Sí, sería, I might not go to the winning or I might not be able to, to go. Mm -hmm. Good. I might not go to the wedding or I might not be able to go to the wedding. Very good. Those are the answers. Ok, hoy sí no hemos pasado, así que vamos a terminar por acá. Acuérdense Don't siempre, <ríe> acuérdense siempre de eh, trabajar los ejercicios de la plataforma. Es sumamente importante. Ahorita vamos hasta el 4.5. Así que, por favor, hasta la sección 4.5, que sería, quiero ver aquí, Models and Adverbs. Hasta ahí ya tendría que estar completo. Mañana vamos a seguir con este tema para que podamos proceder al knowledge check. Ok. So, everybody, thank you for your participation. Thank you for the effort and thank you for being here. I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Take care.